Hello Beaufort Middle School students, this is Mrs. Brigman and I want to wish you all a happy new year and we're going to start this new year 2013 off with a brand new unit. This is unit 5 entitled filling and wrapping and this is our geometry unit and we are going to focus on shapes. That is two dimensional figures, three dimensional figures and looking at the perimeter area, surface area and volume of all kinds of different shapes. Today we're going to focus on lesson one circles and our essential question for today is how can I find the circumference and area of circles. To kick off today's lesson I have a little music video to show you. While the video is playing on the next slide please make sure you have your pencil and your guided notes in front of you and that as soon as the video is over you're ready to fill in your vocabulary words and follow along with the examples. A circle is a shape with all points on the circle The same distance from the center point A radius is a straight line from the center to the circle's edge A diameter is the line across the end points of a circle that passes through the center point A circumference is Distance round the circle. Diameter D is twice the radius. Radius R is half the diameter. Pi is circumference C divided by the diameter. Pi is 3.14 approximately. Circumference is pi D or 2 pi r area is pi r squared diameter d is twice the radius radius r is half the diameter pi is circumference c divided by the diameter pi is 3 Approximately, so the conference is pi d or 2 pi r. Area is pi r squared. All right, I hope you enjoyed that music video, and we're going to go ahead and start our lesson with four vocabulary words. The first word is circle, and as the music video said, a circle is simply the set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from a fixed point, and that fixed point is called the center. And you can see the dot here in our diagram represents the center. Your second vocabulary word is radius. That is represented by the red line here in the diagram. The radius is the distance from the center to any point on the circle. Your third word is diameter. This is the distance across the circle through the center and that's represented by the blue line in your diagram here. And the last word is circumference. That is the distance around the circle. Sorry about that. Circumference is represented as the difference around or the distance around the circle, excuse me. One word that is not listed on here that is very important is the Greek it is spelled P-I. It is a Greek word and the symbol for pi looks like this. And as the music video has shown you and it's how I'm sure you've learned this in the past pi is equivalent to 3.14 or 22 over 7 as a fraction today we're going to talk about finding the circumference and the area of circles and we're going to start with circumference circumference is the distance around the circle to calculate the circumference, you will need to memorize two very important formulas. The first formula we're going to look at, and if you have your pen, please box in or you may highlight this formula. C equals pi times D, where D is the diameter.
If you are given a circle and the diameter is given, you want to use this formula. Sometimes only the radius will be given. In that case, you want to use the second formula in your guided notes, and this is a typo. It should be C equals 2 pi r. So if you could highlight both of those formulas, those are going to be very important throughout this unit. Alright, we're going to try a few examples using those two formulas. We're going to go step by step through these examples, so please follow along. The first question says, find the circumference of a circle, and we're going to find the circumference of this clock. We're going to find the distance around the clock. It, the directions tell us to use 3.14 for pi. Sometimes your directions may say use the fraction form, but in this case they want us to use the decimal form. Your first step, step number one, please write this in your notes. Whatever I'm writing on the screen, you need to be copying in your notes in the space below. You need to pick which formula you want to use. You can use, either use c equals pi times d or c equals 2 pi r. You want to look at your diagram to pick which one would best suit you. And in this case, the diameter is given. 25 is a diameter because it's the distance from one point on the circle to another point straight through the center. So this is the diameter. So I'm going to pick the formula c equals pi d. Your second step is to substitute. We're going to plug it in, plug it in for d. And we're going to substitute 3.14 in for pi. So pi is 3.14. You need to put parentheses where your variable is, and we'll plug in the diameter, which in this case is 25. Okay, your last step will be to simply multiply these two numbers, 3.14 times 25, and your final answer is 78.5 centimeters. That is the circumference around the clock. Please notice that this is a distance, so you do need to include units in your answer. Centimeters is the appropriate units for this question. Example 2, finding the circumference of a circle. The directions in this case tell us to use 22 over 7 for pi. So let's follow our steps again. Number one, we need to pick a formula to use. Now in this case we are given the radius r because it is from the center point, it's the distance from the center to a point on the circle, the radius. So I'm going to choose to use c equals 2 pi r. Our second step is to substitute in everything we know. We have our 2, use parentheses, Pi is going to be 22 over 7, and our radius is 21. Your third step is to simply solve. All right, when solving this, I am going to look at 2 times 21. I'm just going to double the radius, 2 times 21, which is 42. And I'm going to multiply that times my fraction, 22 over 7, which is pi. And simply multiply this. I can cross cancel. 7 goes into 7 once. 7 goes into 42 6 times. And 6 times 22 is equal to 132 inches. That is your circumference of the circle. All right, example three, finding the diameter of a circle. This time, they are going to give us the circumference, and we are going to have to work backwards to find the diameter. Let's read the question together. It says, the largest tree in the United States is growing in Sequoia National Park in California. The tree is a giant sequoia whose trunk is roughly circular and has a circumference of 998 inches. What is the tree's diameter? You need to think about the things that are given to you in the problem. We know the circumference equals 998 inches. 
we know the question is saying what is the diameter. So the diameter is what we're looking for. So back to our steps. Step number one, we need to choose a formula. We have a circumference, we have a diameter, so which formula do you think we should choose? If you said c equals pi times d, you are correct. Our second step is to substitute. We know that c is equal to 998 inches, so I'm going to plug that in for c. Pi is equal to 3.14 approximately. And d is our unknown quantity. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to keep that a variable. Now, this looks a lot like a one-step equation, and that's exactly what it is. So your third step is going to be to solve the one-step equation. You're going to start over here on the side with the variable. They're multiplying times 3.14, so the inverse operation would be to divide. Please keep your inverse balance solve steps in your head. So we're dividing by 3.14 because that's the inverse of multiplication. We're going to keep everything balanced and divide by 3.14 on the other side as well. And then we're going to solve. This cancels and D equals, over here we'll solve 998 divided by 3.14. And your final answer is 317.83 inches. That is the diameter of the tree trunk. Imagine that, a tree trunk with a diameter of 317 inches. All right, next we're going to look at the area of a circle. The area of a circle is the product, that means to multiply, of pi and the square of the radius. So if you have a highlighter, you can just grab your pencil and please put a box around the formula A equals pi r squared. A equals pi r squared. Anytime you're looking for the area of the circle, this is the formula that you want to use. All right, let's take a look at this example. The example says the central performance area at a circus is a circular ring having a diameter of 42 feet. And I like to underline the information that's given. Find the area of the ring. We are looking for area, so we know the formula we're going to use is A equals pi r squared. Find the radius. First, we need to find the radius so that we can plug it into our formula. Now, imagine a circle. You have a circle and it has a diameter of 42 feet. If the diameter across the circle is 42 feet, what is the radius? Well, we know that the radius is half of the diameter, so that would rep be represented with this orange mark here. This is the radius. So half, all we have to do is take half of 42, which is 21. So radius is equal to 21. It's half of the diameter. Radius equals half of the diameter. Next, we're going to go ahead and plug the R into our formula, and we're going to find the area. So area equals 3.14, that is the number for pi, R is 21, and we're going to square that 21. All right, now for our computation. 21 squared, you're going to do that first because according to PEMDAS, we do exponents first. So 21 squared is 441, and we're going to take that number, and we're going to times it by pi, and that will give us the area. 3.14 times 441 is 1,384.74 feet squared. So that is the area of the circus ring. Remember, area is simply all of that space, all of that space on the inside of the circle. Circumference, circumference is the distance around the circle. Area is the space inside the circle. 
All right, you guys, now it is your turn. You have four questions here to complete tonight. The first three questions are dealing with circumference, so you will need those first two formulas. The fourth question is finding the area, so you will use A equals pi r squared. Your teacher will go over these tomorrow with you in class. Good luck.